history has seen some powerful, inspirational women, and also some of the cruelest and the most evil women. While women's history has been ignored or erased over the centuries, many women have made a huge impact on society. Our channel, The Past Quest, Women History. We only post videos about women's history. Subscribe the channel and support us. Amelia Earhart American aviation pioneer and author She was born on 21st July 1897 in Edgeson, Kansas, U.S. While still a child, Earhart displayed an adventurous and independent nature. In 1917, she visited her sister in Toronto, Canada for Christmas vacation. World War I was raging at the time, and Earhart saw the return of wounded Canadian soldiers. She left college and chose to volunteer at a Canadian military hospital. After training as a nurse's aide from the Red Cross, she began working with the Voluntary Aid Detachment at Spadina Military Hospital. A pilot training field was nearby. She began spending time watching pilots and heard stories from pilots where she discovered her passion for flying. After the war, Earhart enrolled at Columbia University but quit a year later in 1920 to live with her parents, who had reunited in California. On 28 December 1920, she and her father visited an air show in California. She went on her first plane flight that day. With her first plane ride, she discovered her true passion. I knew I had to fly, she later recalled. Earhart takes her first flying lesson from female pilot Netta Snook. She worked hard, working at various jobs, including truck driver, photographer, stenographer, and together with some money from her mother, she was able to pay for flying lessons. Six months later, in 1921, Earhart purchased a second-hand plane, a yellow Kina Airster biplane, which she nicknamed the Canary. She also cropped her hair short in the style of other female flyer. On 22nd October 1922, Earhart flew a plane at an altitude of 14,000 feet, setting the world record for female pilots. On 16th May 1923, she became the 16th woman in the United States to be issued an international pilot's license. In 1928, Earhart was invited to take part in a historic flight across the Atlantic. Along with pilot Bill Schultz and co-pilot Slim Gordon, Earhart flew across the Atlantic Ocean in the airplane Friendship. She was the navigator on the flight. On 18th June 1928, after 21 hours of flying, the plane landed in Wales. She was the first woman to fly across the Atlantic and was received back in the United States as a hero. In 1932, she became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. In 1935, Earhart made history with the first solo flight from Hawaii to California, a distance longer than the United States to Europe. She departed Honolulu on January 11th and after 17 hours and 7 minutes, landed in Auckland the next day. Later that year, she became the first person to fly solo from Los Angeles to Mexico City. In 1931, after several successful flights, Earhart decided to fly around the world with Fred Noonan as a navigator in a twin-engine Lockheed Electra. On June 1, 1937, Earhart and Fred Noonan, her navigator, began their 29,000-mile journey, took off from Miami, Florida. They flew several flights, eventually crossing Africa and Asia to New Guinea in the South Pacific. On July 2nd, they took off from New Guinea to fly to Howland Island in the Pacific Ocean, but were never seen again. Earhart was also in intermittent radio contact with the Itasca, a U.S. Coast Guard cutter near Howland. Late in the journey, she radioed that the plane was running out of fuel. About an hour later, she announced, We are running north and south. That was the last transmission Itasca received. The U.S. government launched an extensive search for Earhart, Noonan, and her plane for several weeks, but they were never found. On 19th July 1937, the operation was called off and the pair were declared lost at sea. 
There have been numerous theories and claims about what happened to the flight, but no one really knows and her plane has never been found. Some believed that Iahat and Nunan had crashed on a different island after failing to locate Howland, and others believed that they were captured by the Japanese. However, no evidence was found for such claims. Many experts believe that Iahat's plane crashed in the Pacific near Howland after running out of fuel. Subscribe the channel and support us. Thank you for watching.